to be painting cabinets. This is just crazy. We sprayed them and there's too many spots. We sprayed them, I went over them with a um, brush, but there's too many like spots. So like, now I'm sanding them and now I'm painting them with a brush again. And I just can't wait to be done. Much better, much better. So there's like this whole art to painting cabinets when you're doing a brush painting. You have to do these strokes like perfectly up and down or else you can see the lines. And if you have nice straight lines, I'm like it looks really good. But then, I'm, but then it like collects in these corners. Um, like it's a really intricate job, and you have to do a really good job, or else it's just gonna look like crap. And I'm very, very detail oriented, which is a really good thing to be, if you know how to not be detail oriented when it's not necessary. But this, I think, is pretty necessary to be detail oriented or else our cabinets are not gonna look good and this is gonna be our home. So we want it to look beautiful. So as I'm trying to get straight lines, I have to be perfectly straight with it and go up and down. Like if I'm like this trying to do straight lines, it just doesn't work out. So as long as I'm like, you know, straight right on with the cabinet, they do a pretty good job. See, now there's a mark there and I have to redo it all over again because I had to get those bubbles out. Sometimes I have to do it like four or five times. And you have to do it before it starts to dry or else It'll start to get thick and the lines will be all yucky. If that one was crooked. That one was crooked. A little better. Best all done sometimes. make this bead nice and straight at the bottom so I don't have to go over the lines again. Nope, I'm going to have to do it all over again. It's much easier if you have one dry and you get the paint on there and then you use the dry one to just make your lines. That way it doesn't uh, leave any pieces of paint. Sense. Well, then thick paint gets stuck on it and then it gets blobby, what I've noticed anyways. On the dry one? Well, I haven't used a dry one, but that's what I'm saying. But if that's you, what I would imagine. If you use a dry one after you get the paint on there, mm -hmm. then use a dry one to lightly make the stripes, then you won't have any falling up or beads. Okay. Can you hold this toward me for a second? Comes in. You have to come along like this and paint like these little grooves. Otherwise, if you're not careful, they drip. If you just paint them while they're, you know, it'll pool in there and it'll dry these big old blobs. We don't want no blobs. No, no blobs. Yeah, if you got in the sunshine too long, babe, you're gonna have white freckles. You already <laughs> have white freckles. Do I still have that stuff all over me? Yeah, on your nose too. Yeah. Thanks to Kevin. He sprayed me last night, like, while I was recording it. Like, I don't think Kevin wiped your nose with paint, though. <laughs> that was probably me. And then you have to go around here, see how it's pooling and dripping. 
Very nice. I don't think I will ever do this again in my entire life. So obviously I'm really good at it, but I will never do it again. It's too much work. I love that antique brush look. It's awesome. I can't have a beer because I'm gluten free. Okay. 